Hello gentlemen and welcome, welcome back to the lab. This is AC with you today and in today's video we are going to address a couple of very important things that will be happening here in the lab and we will be doing some electrical work as you can see by all these parts around me. So make sure you stick around, grab your coffee, grab your tea and let's get right into it because we have a lot of work to do. All right, so this will be a series of videos uh, dedicated specifically to the lab where I will be working on the lab only. And there will be a second series of how I'm building the shop because things are a little bit different there. We got pneumatic lines and we got a lot of different things I need to add, including some machinery. So once I get to it, we will start filming the shop as well. But for now, uh, what we are doing is we are just focusing here in the lab. We will be doing some electrical work today. And later on, I will talk to you about some of the little things I would like to do here in this room, including some heat, some electric heat would be really, really nice. I have a tiny heater here temporarily, but that's going to change uh, really, really soon. And then uh, we need to do some ventilation and exhaust for the fumes when they're soldering. That's going to be awesome. And then we will well, start doing some automation things as well. And I will talk about these things in the greater detail uh, by the end of the video. And so what's going to happen here is essentially you need to locate where we're going to have our equipment and which table and which area is going to be responsible for which operations within our hobby. So that way we can know how much power we need to supply to each bench and what types of devices we will have there at that station. All right, so simplicity is the key. I want it to be simple and symmetrical all around the room. So I'm gonna use these uh, things here this little nozzle cleaners brushes whatever I'm gonna use that as a spacer just like that Oops. so when I place my box they will be an equal distance away from the table when they are bolted in in place so that's the plan so Let's put on the first one. I'm just gonna make it look straight, you know what I mean? It's not bad. What do you guys say? I know it's only three. We still have many more to go. But I like what I see and I can put equipment where I need it. Alright. Time for the corner. So for the corner, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Because uh, I have a golden... Can you guys see me? I have a golden opportunity to mount it right there. And if I mount it right there, like right here, I can hide a lot of these wires from equipment underneath and they won't have to come down. So I'm going to try doing that. I can always change that. But um, I think it will work really well. I hope I have enough boxes. I would say the right 
right let's go here it should be perfect what are you gonna say it's pretty symmetrical okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine plugs nine receptacles and there's going to be more on this side so let's do that okay <clears throat> We have just installed all the electrical boxes for the outlets. Looks pretty good. It does look a little crowded, perhaps, but you know. So I'm just gonna do a spin around so you could see. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, okay, so what is next? Well, wiring, wiring is next. All right, uh, we are a little bit farther into the process. And I gotta say, it's very stiff. This is a 10 gauge wire not very flexible i don't i don't think it will it will be possible to put this plug into that box so we're gonna go to 14 gauge gauge of wire uh, here since the other one would not allow us to fit a receptacle in the box what with having two of these wires on each side so I tried one uh, receptacle already I installed it it looks really really good so I think it's safe to continue uh, so we can keep wiring the rest of the plugs and uh, hopefully who knows maybe today we will be able to power this circuit on so rock and roll
so this is day three, day three of us working here. I uh, spent about mm, two hours a day uh, just working here after work. It's really not that bad. Um, turned out great. But one thing for sure, if I were to do different, this may be a bigger size of a box or one cable per box. That would definitely help. These wires are not the most flexible ones I've seen. It's kind of a pain. The box is too small. That's what really comes to. Now, <clears throat> there had been something good that we did. And that is... We got light. That's the good part. So now we can start using everything we wanted to use. We have power here all the time. Now that is also a problem because here in the lab and the shop I want everything to shut off completely automatically. So because of that there had been some vital change to the design. You may have seen the control box I showed you in the shop in the last video which was part one. There had been some changes. And now I want a second one in this room. I run my numbers and I figure it might be better to put that box here and things just become easier after that. I will be looking for a box. Hopefully it will be back by the time part three comes out. In part three we will be doing some things, a little bit more electrical work. What we will be doing is, we will be installing some isolation plugs and I will teach you a trick you might not know. Also, who knows, maybe the box will arrive and we can start doing some automation work here. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.